वेलकम 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 नमस्ते लुक एट दिस फ्रेंड्स वट वी आर गोइंग टू मेक टूडे इज अ वेरी हेल्दी रेसिपी ऑफ फुल ऑफ फाइबर एंड न्यूट्रिशन एंड कैल्शियम रिच रेसिपी मेड अप ऑफ द ग्रेन्स ओके सो हियर इट गोज वट आई हैम डूइंग हियर इज कॉल्ड इट एज अ वेरी ऑथेंटिक डिश from maharashtra state which is bombay area here it goes so what i'm going to do here i took this bolus and now i'm applying some water here at the base and here it goes i will be giving some nice so it has a lot of cilantro a lot of cucumber grated cucumber a green chili turmeric cumin coriander salt okay so we are just pressing it with a gentle hand this is made up of the multi grain it has a lot of different lentils as well as a lot of different grains together okay and then you have to make a dough in the hot water in our mixy hand mixy hand mixer and then what you do you take a bolus out of it and you start pressing it like this the way i have showed you and then you come here. you see this this is how it gets you know so i'm going to show you the whole process of how to make this this is aruna patki doctor of ayurvedic medicine a nationally recognized therapist a healer a licensed massage therapist i am here to show you the wisdom of ayurveda and the art of ayurvedic nutrition so this is a very authentic grain and lentil related tortilla this is not at all tortilla because it doesn't have a la wheat in it it doesn't have a wheat in it see mm, yum 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 so i want you to observe this whole process of making this now i'm going to just make some few holes here 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven. Okay, so I made a hole. This is a cotton cloth, and here it goes, like this. All right. So this is the most important thing. What we need to do here is the basics of Ayurveda. So in the basics of Ayurveda, can you show this? Oops. 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 No. No. So we are going to apply some of the oil okay so i am using the peanut oil because i am comfortable with the peanut oil okay how about you what kind of oil do you like would you like to put what kind of oil you like in the comments and if you are watching live let me know you can put a hashtag live in this one so we are watching live or replay mention it in the comment here it goes let's to see and here it goes you know so the you know in my practice the basic problem with my clientele is like wheat gluten allergies these arthritis autoimmune disorders these are the basic challenges which i come across in my practice all the time all the time you know? so we need to understand how we can uh, how we can do this uh, healthy way of cooking and healthy way of doing so give me a second as i am doing something else at the same time i will show you that in a minute and this week we have a 
a huge per, uh, person who is 250 pounds and uh, this person is 42 years old and we will be doing some Ayurvedic detox and cleansing and rejuvenation program. So friends, now let's do the major part of Ayurveda which is called it as Okay, so now I'm going to take some my medical ghee and I'm going to put it here. Here we go. Ayurveda is all about you. I just got a call from a client who is suffering with the hypothyroidism. And she said, do you have ashwagandha? And that is the straight question she asked. So as an Ayurvedic a doctor and consultant, I was very interested to know why would you like to have a ashwagandha? Why you are uh, just curious to know and uh, get the ashwagandha? So she said she is suffering with some hair fall issues and she is suffering with some um, uh, um, metabolic issues and hair fall issues and weight related issues, you know. So she wanted to have the ashwagandha, but I said, ma'am, unless and until you understand your body type and you understand your uh, prakriti, which is a Ayurvedic body type evaluation, then it's hard, okay, to just give you the herbs, you know. We, we are not interested to just give you the herbs and give you the oil. We are interested to bring the lifestyle change and we are interested to heal a person from inside out. That is called it as a Ayurvedic healing. You see this? This is all made up with the ghee and a little bit of oil and lot of grains and lentils. So the grains what I used here is I will tell you the names, okay? So I have here a very important grain which we use on the uh, regular basis and this grain is a, is a, um, is a known because it has a, a black gram flower, you know, black gram flower, black pearl millet, then it has a gram flower, then there is a cumin, coriander, ajwain, turmeric, chili pepper, and salt, and a bunch of cilantro, and one whole cucumber. You take the, all these ingredients and you make with a dough like this with the hot water. So when, when the dough is like this, then you repeat the process which I showed it to you just now. Right? So, what you do here, you take a nice water. Just give me a second. I'll let me put. And see guys, this is a thing I'm going to eat it with, okay? This is called it as a yogurt. And this is a fresh homemade yogurt, okay? Fresh homemade yogurt. So this is a water. I have water here. I'm just spreading the water at the base and with a very gentle hand as this is a cotton uh, cloth, you know, muslin cloth. Here it goes. This is all ready. I would like to remove this and put it in my hot pot, okay? So it's ready for the hot pot. Just give me a second. Let me do this. Very gentle pressure. You have to start from in. Start from in. Start from in. Okay. And the whole diet concept in Ayurveda is all about your body type. If you know who you are, what is your body type, what is your current imbalance, 
what are you suffering with what is your disease is it your hair fall is it your hair conditions hair uh, dandruff is it where where your dryness in the body whether it is arthritis autoimmune disease whether it is a weight related challenges whether it is a diabetes diabetes 2 whether it's a lifestyle disorder uh, hmm. i'm going to make some holes whether it is a uh, weight related heart related conditions then this is a, there is no gluten in this one okay not at all i'm going to make some holes here so that it can cook it very well now i'm going to get this cotton cloth like this i'm holding it and i'm putting it look at this this is how you make it okay so this is a this is the way of cooking this lentil and this grain and ayurveda has mentioned always of cooking you know you cannot put two wrong things in the food because that becomes a poison that is called it as a incompatible food in ayurveda and i have a course coming up in my uh, teachings where you will be learning about the art of ayurvedic nutrition where you will learn all these techniques of proper cooking now let me see this is coming good let me turn here it goes okay now the same thing you repeat it again how do you repeat it you repeat it like adding some ghee ghee is a clarified butter and i am using the herbal ghee here which i make for my clients for weight loss program okay here it goes and every each of my client has praised the kind of a ghee so this is what it is and this is the homemade yogurt fresh made in 2 to 3 hours okay now the weather is changing you can make your own yogurts i do not buy my yogurt from outside okay so now uh we are i'm going to show you another one here it comes i will be showing you this one baby okay so this is a uh, another pearl millet so pearl millet black millet this is called it as a bajra bajra and here it goes so you make it like this make a nice dough and you make a nice round and here it goes you put some at the base and then you make it you know cooking is all about you and your connection and your feelings and your emotions and what you would like for your family you know this is all about you and your things the thing is like the way you feed to the body the the way you make the food the way you pour all the nourishment in the food you know the the emotional involvement in the food is is a key because the body will heal only on the four bases it will never ever heal only on one basis you know people generally in my office they come okay can you move a little bit baby and just show this okay i am going to hold this put my arm below this get this like this and i am putting on the iron pan this is a iron pan and i am going to turn on this is nice and warm iron pan okay hold like this all right look at this so this is one and this is the most important this is my favorite and this i am going to use for my upcoming client who is going through the um weight challenge whose weight is 250 we are talking about a client who is a 250 
and we are talking about a person who is suffering with a pain pain in the joints pain in the uh body pain in the head you know so the the weight and the pain they go very well together in ayurveda i know i have the milk which came out of the pan in the morning before i went to drop my baby to the school so that i have to clean today so after this cooking which this is which which why i was boiling the milk to make my own fresh yogurt look at this fresh fresh right no corrosives no preservatives nothing inside and this is called it as a yogurt what ayurveda look for you know i in my practice i have seen all of my clients most of them they buy the yogurt from the store you know and store yogurt it always and always has to have what do you think the store yogurt has to have what do you think what must be the companies putting in the yogurt when you get it from the from the from the store what are the things they generally put inside any 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 your own observations and any your own um ideas do you know what do generally the store yogurt has any guesses guys and if you are watching me live please put a live in the hashtag live so that i know you are watching this and not as a replay but you are watching this as a live so store yogurt has the things which are called it as a thickeners okay so thickeners are are not that's why if you see the home yogurt looks totally different than the store store bought yogurt okay so the things are like you need to understand uh, the the logics about the food you know food is is like a medicine in ayurveda if you know what is your body type and if you know what is your um uh, your way of uh, uh, your body needs what is your prakriti if you know the prakriti and if you know eat the food as per your prakriti then it is the it is is easy for the body you know it's very easy for the body and you cannot skip the skip the um, you cannot skip the uh, the steps you know lot of times wrong combination lot of times skipping the steps you know i make my dough for 7 days yes that's what i hear from my clients you know i cook for 7 days and i keep it in the deep freeze and then every day we remove one container okay all right so when i hear all of these then sometimes i feel okay what is there i can help you with you know how can i guide you how can i help you now i have to remove this okay this is a car iron pan and iron pans heat is pretty good you know they gets very hot and i have a stove which is um which is a, like a, you know pretty 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 hot to cook like this you need a nice hot temperature and you know holding camera with one hand and guiding and teaching everything together is a huge thing so here it is ready for you this is i am going to test it how it is ha ha this is a, my favorite this is from my area and you know what i will show you how you eat this uh, and how does this yogurt which is a uh, like this you know i made this yogurt it's fresh it, there is no preservative there is nothing here so you can eat it like this with this make it and here goes the bite it's very hot mm it's crunchy yummy tasty and fresh 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 no freeze no storage st- store food no staple food no old food nothing so 
feed the god within you feed the allah within you feed the jesus within you you know this is called it as a anna he purna brahma that means your food is your energy the energy outside nourishes the energy inside so this is something you we need to understand yes lavena hello madhvi it's so good to see you hi vijaya thank you for coming on ayurveda healing spa live i hope you all are doing well if you like this concept kindly share with your friends make sure you eat the things which are it's so yummy that i can't stop myself so now this is my time to take a leave and enjoy my yes lbai now this is called it as a thali peat so this is a thali peat with a variation of the yellow squash what you get in the store nowadays the yellow squash you can add this make this with the yellow squash and this is for my weight loss for my client who is for the proportions of the lentils and this the proportions albina very soon i will be adding this on my website so kindly check it because when i'm cooking it's it's hard to mention the proportion but i will do that very soon i will put it on this link is going to go on my youtube so once i am done i will put down all the proportions for you and then you do the process the same what i have showed you okay all right so i hope you all enjoyed today's cooking this is called it as a bajri chi bhakri pearl millet tortilla this is not at all compared to the tortilla this is 100 times better but this is the only name i can think of comparing you know this is a pearl millet bhakri and this is a lentil and millets bhakri all right thank you you have a wonderful evening enjoy your food and praise your food love your food and love yourself take care thank you